Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial about you by JMPC Tech and on this uh, video I'm going to show you how to uh, manipulate the alpha transparency um, property using Actions 3.0 inside Flash. So it's basically what we're going to be aiming for. We have an object here, this is a screen object, and as you roll over, its opacity changes to 50% and you roll out back to 100%. So you can have a lot of fun with that. Alright, so basically what we need is to create a new uh, document. So file new and select a uh, flash file action script 3.0. Remember we're gonna use action script 3.0, not 2.0. Click on OK. Okay, so first of all we need to create our um, two layers. So your timeline right there. And double click on the layer to rename it and it's basically gonna be our object. Uh, the random object really and take your rectangle primitive tool and just draw something so right there so I have mine set to be a uh, this radio radio gradient right here and um, for those who don't know if you use your first time using it rectangle primitive tool if you take your move tool you go on this point here, you move. Go. Fancy, huh? Alright, so I just move my mind to the maximum. Now we need to convert this to a symbol. So move a clip or button. And so press F8 to convert this to a symbol. And I'm going to convert mine to move a clip and rename it uh, OBJ for object. Uh, let's make it MC O. BJMC for movie, cl movie clip. Click on OK. Now we need to give this an instance name right there in the properties panel. Um, and give it an instance name of whatever you want. And I'm just going to give it OBJMC, uh, which is really easy to use. So what you remember. So, with that done, um, let's go and create a new layer, which is going to be our action layer. So, AS3. Action 3.0, if you want. And on this layer, select the first frame and just go to Window, Actions, or press F9. There you go. Right there. So now, first line of code. Basically, what we need is to add an even listener. So you need to have, if you have a bit of background in Action 3.0, it's good. Otherwise, just follow and it's pretty easy to, to learn and to get the hang of it. So we need to call in our object. So objmc dot. Uh, let's see. Did I name it obj? Yes, objmc. Movie clip. That's good. All right. Never mind. I uh, just thought I name it uh, something else. Anyway, objmc dot add event oops, listener and you want the event listener to be a mouse event dot and we're going to do a roll over underscore over oops whoop, over and we're going to call in a function called obj over and this function we're going to create right now. So, function obj over. We're taking a event colon mouse event, and it's going to be void because we don't return anything. Set that. So here's our function. And inside our function, going to say obj mc dot alpha minus equals. So basically, obj alpha equals obj alpha minus what we're going to put here, point one or point five. Sorry, point five. So basically, what it's doing is um, it's reducing the uh, opacity by fifty percent since one is one hundred percent and point five is fifty percent and point one ten percent all that. So now let's try 
uh, see if there's any error no errors let's control enter to preview we roll over 50% we roll over minus 50% again um, now the problem is that it went so let's do it again <laughs> I don't know how to explain it real uh, you go over minus 50% roll over again means when we roll out we want it to go back to 100% so we have another um, event listener dot add event listener importance case sensitive action script unfortunately for beginner it's always a big mess because uh, roll out and it's calling this um, function obj out see semicolon and screw your add function. So function uh yeah fun uh, sorry function obj out we're gonna take in an event colon mouse event and we said to void and now what's gonna be in here objmc dot alpha so basically it's transparency alpha transparency equals to one done control enter the preview and you roll over 50% opacity you roll out 100% over out over out so that can be used maybe for a button you roll over select click and it gets you to the link whatever Right, so that's basically what we have a simple object we created here and then we just do everything with action set point oh. um, simple to use uh, this is no catch whatsoever uh, just be careful with those uh, things and with those point fives and ones and everything should be good all right um, this is the end of this uh, oh, uh, tutorial if you want to call it this way. And I'll see you next time. Some other show for PC technologies and whatsoever. See ya.